والصلاة والسلام على خير خلق الله أجمعين سيدنا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه ومن اهتدى بهذه واقتفى أثره واتبع طريقه بإحسان إلى يوم الدين. اللهم إنا نسألك خير هذه الليلة وخير ما بعدها ونعوذ بك من شر هذه الليلة وشر ما بعدها. We ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to grant us the goodness of this night. It's a guidance, it's a light, it's a blessing. As we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to protect us from all kind of evil and in our prayer. يقول علي بن أبي طالب رضي الله عنه ألا إن الدنيا قد ارتحلت مدبرة A year passed, 2022 It's not only a year How far you are from the hereafter How long you are so far from the life of this world. كم ابتعدت عن الدنيا وكم أنت قريب من الآخرة. How close you are to the hereafter. So close. Could be any time. Ali ibn Abi Talib addressed this ummah by saying, "Remember, the life of of this world." ارتحلت مدبرة departed left you how far how long you never know you never know since we came to the life of this world we take ourselves away from the life of this world bringing ourselves closer to the hereafter every single day you know, take you away from this life, bring you closer day after another, month after another, year after another, to the after. That's what he said. Allah in the dunya, since you were born, you departed the life of this world and it's behind you. And you're heading to, to the hereafter. Allah in the dunya, and by the way, the hereafter, Heading to us, to be with us. Right? So you left behind the life of this world. On the other hand, the end is coming. Coming. We move to it and it's coming to us. When? Allah knows. In what point? Allah knows. Could be any time. Ala inna dunya rtahalat mudbira. والآخرة ارتحلت مقبلة ولكل واحدة منهما بل زلم الخير تو ما شاء الله سخاك الله من نهار الجنة for each one of them the life of this world and thereafter some followers some people target the life of this world only money, business, authority, this, desire, passion and some others both I will enjoy what Allah made both in this dunya at the same time targeting the Jannah وَلِكُلِّ وَاحِدَةٍ مِنْهُمَا بَنُونَ for each one of them some followers and he said, فَكُونُوا مِنْ أَبْنَاءِ الْآخِرَةِ وَلَا تَكُونُوا مِنْ أَبْنَاءِ الدُّنْيَا Be among those who target Jannah. Allah is pleasure. Allah is mercy. Hereafter. فَإِنَّ الْيَوْمَ عَمَلٌ وَلَا حِسَابٌ وَغَدًا حِسَابٌ وَلَا عَمَلٌ Today, do whatever you want without reckoning, without judgment. But tomorrow, when we reach our destination, no more work, no more salah, no more repentance, no more 
charity will be accepted, right? Only accountability. I give you love, I give you sight, I give you hearing, right? I give you heart, I give you life, I give you money, I give you wife, I give you children, I give you authority, and I give you money over there. And I send you messenger, or air, tell me, what did you do in your time, in your life, in your money, in your side, in all of these things? In the sama, one basara, sama, hearing, one basara, vision, one fu'adha, you will be questioned about all of these things. So Ali ibn Abi Talib addressed the Ummah with a great point. Does it mean not to, you know, not to enjoy what Allah made lawful in this dunya? Enjoy it. But on the other hand, on the other side, remember that you are going to reach your destination. And Allah will question you about your lifetime, your money, your income, your wife, your children, your authority, your actions, right? Remember this, this things. Al-Hassan al-Basri, rahimahullah, may Allah bestow his mercy upon him, he said, every single person is what? A couple of days. A couple of days. If a day passed, Second day, third day, one month, one year, two years, you lost a great part of your life, right? How much we live? 50, 60, 40, 30, 20? If you are 20, is there any 20 year, 20 your hand up if you are 20? No? Uh, <laughs> so I don't know. If you are 25? No? No, or no one. If you are 30, you all of you are under 30, right? Now you are in inshallah. Okay. If you are 30 or 30 plus, almost half of your life already passed. Do you know, do you have any proof or evidence that Allah accepts what you have done in the past? Do you have any proof or evidence that Allah accepted the sins that you committed in the past? Do you have any proof that you're going to live another theory you use? Do you have any proof? May Allah give you a long life full of righteousness and obedience to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Can anyone say, I will live till tomorrow? No one. No one. The person who said before you, brother, Wallahi, I was losing my life in a few seconds. I experienced that. Wallahi. I said, Ashhadu an la ilaha illallah, wa ashhadu anna in a few seconds, I felt that I died. It is, it's like that. Don't tell me I'm healthy, I did the follow checkup last month. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. So when the time passed by us, every Friday, every month, every year, we have to spend enough time counting ourselves, judging our actions, our iman, in what level our iman is, in what level our sincerity is, in what level our conduct is, in what level. Everyone when the end of the year comes, yeah, tax return is coming, right? And I will try to make it that way, that way, so I can get this, I can get this. And as you know, some people fabricate many stories, right? How are you going to fabricate that in the day of judgment? Can you fabricate it? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran, يَوْمَئِذٍ تُعْرَضُونَ لَا تَخْفَى مِنْهُمْ خَافِرٍ You will be presented before Allah, everything will be exposed. You cannot hide a single or tiny thing. You cannot hide. From whom are you going to hide? From IRS, we understand this. But from Allah, from Allah, you cannot. You cannot. 
So we have to spend enough time to see, to evaluate myself, my deed, my actions, my relation with Allah, with Salah, with my family, with, with the akhlaq, with the manners. In what level am I? This is very important. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, al man wal banoon. Everybody, if you ask, if now I ask you, do you remember your last dream? All about money, about business, about money, about business, right? When was the last time you think about her after? Or about Jannah, about the Prophet وسلم, about the Sahara? How much? How much, you know? Or how great part or small part in your heart, in your mind, for the love of Allah, for the love of the Prophet, for the love of the Sahaba, for the love of Jannah. All about business, business, money, 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 money. To be concerned about your family, about your income is good, but being concerned about Akhirah is more important. Is more important. al mal wal banun Money, wall, and Jordan are the adornment of the life of this world, right? Yes. Enjoy it. Enjoy the wall, enjoy the, the car, the house, the business, whatever. With your Jordan, great blessing from Allah. But Allah says, none of this will help you in the day of judgment unless if you are among the righteous servant. If you leave behind such a great Jordan, Remember Allah, worshiping Allah, helping themselves, helping their community. The remaining righteous deeds that you leave behind is more bitter in hope and reward for yourself in this life and thereafter. If you leave behind a sadaqa jariya, if you leave behind righteous offspring, righteous children, right? All of that will, will, will be great for you in this life and hereafter. al man wal banun Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the Quran in many different places. فَلَا تَغُرَّنَّكُمْ الْحَيَاةُ الدُّنْيَا Luqman, Luqman. Who's Luqman? Some of the scholars said he was a prophet. Some others said he was a wise person. Anyway. He said, Ya Bunayya, inna dunya bahrun amiq. Oh my son, life is like a deep sea. Gharika fihi nasun kathir. Life is like an ocean. Many people drown in it. They think they know how to swim, how to take care of themselves and they will not survive. Your ship, your rescue boat during that, you know, deep ocean should be Taqwa. And your shipment that you put there, at tawakkul ala Allah. In all what you're doing, I, in, I trust nobody but Allah. Your family, your business, your, your health, your income, everything, tawakkul to Allah. وَمَنْ يَتَوَكَّلْ عَلَى اللَّهِ فَهُوَ حَسْبُهُ If we're really Trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, Allah will suffice us. You know what that means? We, we, how many times we heard that part of the verse? But the question, brother, I'm asking myself before you, how much out of percentage you trust Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? How much? 50, 60, 40, 10 percent? It should be 100%. That's why the Prophet says, 
لو توكلت because at the time the Prophet صلى الله عليه وسلم was informed by Allah that many people you know yeah I love Allah but not hundred percent I trust Allah but not hundred percent that's why he corrected that misunderstanding by saying لو توكلت على الله حق توكله if you trust Allah as He should be trusted, as He should be trusted, لرزقكم كما يرزق الطير تقضو خماصا وتعود بطانا. Allah will provide you the same way He provide the birds, leaving the nest in the morning with empty stomach. Do they have job contract, life insurance for the stamp? What, what do you have? Only trusting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And come back with false stomach. Wa'alallahi fatawakkal in kuntum mu'mineen. Khalid ibn Walid, in one of the battles, in the war, during the war, he was injured. And he was almost to die, was so thirsty, need some water. One of the enemies saw him calling for water. Poison was a hero of Khalid bin Walid, safe from law, the sword of Allah. When he killed him, most of, you know, probably he won the war, he won the, the, the ground, right? He said before you drink, it's poison. He said he reported that statement with the very strong trust in Allah. With the name of Allah, nothing can harm you without Allah's permission. No one can harm you without Allah's permission. No one can benefit you with anything without Allah's permission. But don't, don't, don't try this. <laughs> he had no other option. Either to die because of thirsty or because of the poison. But with his trust in Allah, what did he say? Bismillah, by the name of Allah, with which? Nothing will harm me, neither from the heaven nor from the earth. Here you go. And the man waiting for him, back to his sword, fighter. Trust. The Prophet in the cave. Abu Bakr was almost to die. Scared for the Prophet. Allah Abu Bakr, what do you what, 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 what's the matter with you? Don't you learn enough how to trust Allah? What do you think about two people Allah is with them? What happened? Musa alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, Nuh alayhi salam. We have a lot of examples, brother. We need to strengthen our tawakkul on Allah. It doesn't mean to stay home because some people came for Hajj and begging the people over there. So Omar who said, who are you? Why are you begging the people? They said, نَحْنُ الْمُتَوَكِّلُونَ We left our home, mutawakkilina ala Allah. He said, you are so lazy. That's not the way to trust Allah. Before you leave your home, you should prepare yourself, your, what you need for the trip, and then tawakkal ala Allah. Right? Not to not moving from a town to another to say, mutawakkilina ala Allah. That's kind of laziness. No, that's not the way. Right? You do your best, you work hard, but at the end, Alhamdulillah, I submit my manner, my family, my health, my income, my business to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. To Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. The Prophet sallam, had a plan for the trip. When he migrated from Mecca to Medina, he had a plan. He did the plan. He did his best, and then afterward, the matter is in the hand of Allah. What happened? Allah secured him. 
Right? Allah says, address us in the Quran. Everyone, if you ask anybody, I want to secure my children. I want to leave something to my children. I want to leave this, I want to leave that. Allah address us in the Quran. وَالَّذِينَ لَوْ تَرَكُوا مِنْ خَلْفِهِمْ ذُرِّيَّةً ضِعَافًا خَافُوا عَلَيْهِمْ فَلْيَتَّقُوا اللَّهِ وَلْيَقُولُوا قَوْلًا سَدِيمًا Are you the provider or Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? Who's the sustainer? Allah, you do your best from halal. You work hard. You spend on yourself and your family and you try to save something and afterwards it was a is it much or not? That's what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to be unhappy with it. But to cheat and lie and steal and do this because my children and nobody, nobody sponsored them. What about Allah? You sponsor them, you are not. You are not the sustainer. You are the one who collect what Allah sustained you, right? You are the collector of what Allah provided you. Not the provider, the provider is Allah. In Allah, who are Razak. Allah is the provider. A woman, her husband went for jihad. And you know the society. Her friend, a woman, came to visit the lady. Where's your husband? I have heard, I have been told that he went for jihad. Yes, he did. Who's going to provide you? Who's going to work? And who, who's going to pay the rent? Who's going to feed you? Who's gonna... My husband is not the provider. Allah is the provider. My husband is the collector of what Allah provides us. He worked in that field or that field to collect what Allah grant him, right? But the provider is Allah. If my husband passed away, Allah never died. Allah never died. See how great this is it? At-tawakkul ala Allah. At-tawakkul ala Allah. Nowadays, everybody look at what, what others were given. This person was, was given this, I want to have this. This person was given there, I want to have this. It doesn't matter. And some of the women, by the way, if you just follow what your wife said, you will never, you know, uh, satisfy them. You cannot. My friend, my sister, my this, my this, bought this and bought that. That's too much. You have to teach your family about that. About that, about satisfaction. About content. Alhamdulillah, we are here. Alhamdulillah, we worship Allah. Alhamdulillah, I'm working hard. At the end, there is nothing beyond that level I can be. All are in the hand of Allah. Don't either to remind me to fear Allah or remain silent. Remain silent. SubhanAllah. Sayyidina Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. One of the Khalifa invited a scholar, a great scholar. Can you tell me a story? The Khalifa asked. Not like the Khalifa nowadays. Khalifa nowadays, they want an entertainment program, dancing, singing, right? May Allah guide all of us. Can you tell me a story, a beneficial story? The scholar said. With, with what I have heard or what I have seen. What you have seen. I live at the time of Umar ibn Abdul Aziz. And he died. Live a great number of children. With about five dinar. This is all what he left behind. Five Eleven sons or so. In a very few short time, a few years later, with my own eyes, I saw one of his sons donated 100 horses for the sake of 
want to fight for the city of Allah. In a very short time. Five dinar, but from halal. On the other time, I saw another Khalifa before you lift the gray walls, palaces, castles, property, land, houses. A few years later, I saw one of his sons back in the people in the street. This is the difference between those who live with halal and those who, who make their living from power. Halal reflects in your deed, in your health, in your children, generation after generation. Barakah will be given to yourself, to your family, to your income, to your children, generation after generation. Surah al -Kah. Have you recited this today? وَأَمَّا الْغُلَامِ فَكَانَ أَبَوَاهُ مُؤْمِنَيْنِ وَأَمَّا الْجِدَارُ فَكَانَ لِغُلَامَيْنِ يَتِيمَيْنِ فِي الْمَدِينَةِ وَكَانَ تَحْتَهُمْ ها كذا وَكَانَ أَبُوهُمَا صَالِحًا The father with the righteous person Allah sent two prophets or one prophet with the righteous person to secure some wealth for the children of the righteous one. Allah is the most Allah is the most rich one. Allah is the provider. Try to take advantage of your time. To earn as much as you can of righteous deeds, of Iman, Helping others for the sake of Allah subhanahu wa The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says, Badiru, Badiru. You know what's Badiru? Hasten to Allah. Bil a'mal is salih. Hasten to Allah with righteous deeds. Why? Fitanun kakuta al layl al mu'min. Temptation and trials will be like part of the darkness of the night. You know what that means? Cause corruption, mischief, deviation, hypocrisy, fitter, meaning some woman trials, money trials, uh, political trials, economical trials, health trials as you see. And the Prophet Sallallahu said, يصبح الرجل مؤمنا ويمسي كافرا ويمسي مؤمنا ويصبح كافرا يبيع دينه بعرض من الدنيا. A person may change his deen from being Muslim to be a kafir only targeted money and wealth or business or authority. That's why the Prophet said, Hasten to Allah by obedience. By submission, by devotion, by sincerity, by righteous deeds. Because you never know what's going to happen at that kind of temptation and trials. And as you know, the heart is going to change any time. Right? So the Prophet said, a person will revert from Islam into disbelief because of money or authority. Or in your life, interest. The Prophet was concerned about his heart. You know the dua? What the Prophet used to say? Allahumma ya muqallib al qulub, tabbit qalbi ala deen. The heart, you know, upside down, completely upside down, anytime. Anytime. That's why you ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fix your heart on Iman till you meet with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is one of the things that helps. <clears throat> Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam There is nothing better for the believer who live in under Islam, under the light of Islam, the light of guidance, the light of Quran, min takbirati. 
أو تهنيلة أو تحميدة أو تسبيحة. If you cannot do it so right as deed, say Subhanallah, Alhamdulillah, Wa La Ilaha Illallah. That's the best with Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala. This is the best. That's why Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala says when Zakaria alayhi salam was granted, you know, was given a good news with Yahya. What Allah Subhanahu Wa Taala said, وَالْكُرْ رَبَّكَ كَثِيرًا وَسَبِّحْ بِالْعَشِيِّ وَالْإِبْكَارِ be mindful of Allah, remember Allah as much as you can, and praise Allah noon, afternoon, morning, and evening, all time, remember Allah, and, and glorify Him and praise Him. وَسَبِّحْ بِالْعَشِيْهِ وَاذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ كَثِيرًا وَاذْكُرْ رَبَّكَ كَثِيرًا In the new year, take yourself to the top level of hope. Of nobility. If you really love yourself, you will like for yourself superiority and nobility with no arrogance. Well, you know what that means? I'm not going to say anything that displeases Allah. I'm not going to do anything that displeases Allah. I'm not going to do anything against what Allah said, not what the Prophet said. That's kind of respect to myself, to my deed. To my Prophet, to my Quran. Respect, love yourself. If you really love yourself, you will not do anything that is indecent. Allah will endear for you the decent word, actions that Allah loves. That's why the Prophet said, In Allah yuhibbu ma'ali umur wa ashrafaha. Allah hates when the people do that indecent words or action, insulting others or backbiting others or slandering others. Allah hates that. Always take yourself to the top level of comrades, of words, of actions, of knowledge, of behavior. And remember that the Prophet after Salah. Who said, who visited a sick person yesterday? Abu Bakr. He knows how to he understand the reality of his life. Every single day he did something good. I visited a sick person yesterday. Who was fasting yesterday? Me. Who would give a church yesterday? Me. Who did this? Me, me, me. So the Prophet said, himself. Paradise has eight different gates. Jannah. Eight different gates. فَمَنْ كَانَ مِنْ أَهْلِ الصَّلَاةِ If your favorite act is salah, you will enter from the gate of salah. If your favorite act is fasting, extra fasting, you will enter from that gate. Or if you do both, you will be given choice. Both of them will be open. If you give, if you, your favorite act is to give a charity, if your favorite act is to, to do jihad, so the Prophet Abu Bakr said, Ya Rasulullah, if there anyone can be given the eight gates open for him, he said, yes, and you are one of them. We ask Allah to be on. How great is that? How great is that? SubhanAllah. The eight gates of paradise will be open for me. Have you think about that? That's why Allah says in the Quran, إِنَّ الَّذِينَ كَذَّبُوا بِآيَاتِنَا وَاسْتَكْبَرُوا عَنَا لَا تُفَتَّحُ لَهُمْ أَغْوَابُ السَّمَاءِ وَلَا يَدْخُلُونَ الْجَنَّةِ As for those who belied what Allah revealed, deny Allah or deny the Prophet or deny Quran or we are heedless about the hereafter, about Jannah, about the hellfire, they will never enter Jannah. لا تفتح لهم أبواب السماء ولا يدخلون الجنة حتى يلج الجنة في سميه وكذلك نجزي المجرمين. That would be the punishment of Allah for the criminals. For the criminals. Their beds will be made of hellfire, of fire. Their blanket will be made of hellfire. Subhanallah. Even if they ask for some water, 
the believer will say, Allah forbid us to give you anything from Jannah. Allah forbid us. Afidu alayna min al Some more of all what Allah has given you. Inna Allah haramahum ala al-kafi. And Allah said, Al-lazina attakhadu deenahum lahuan wa la'iban wa gharratum al-hayatu al-dunya. Allah gave a definition for kafi. Those who were mocking about religion, heedless about deen, about salah, about fasting, about righteous deed, about hereafter, about death. And they live only in, uh, you know, entertainment, only to fulfill their passion and desire. Allah says, Today, we're going to ignore them. As they ignore, Allah has limited in the life of this world. فَالْيَوْمَ نَنْسَاهُ كَمَا نَسُوا لِقَاءَ يَوْمِهِ They were heedless about the day when they met with Allah. But you know what, what that means? If Allah ignored ignore them and put them in the hellfire and doesn't care about what's going to happen to them. نَنْسَاهُ فَالْيَوْمَ نَنْسَاهُ وَقِيلَ الْيَوْمَ نَنْسَاهُ كَمَا نَسِيتُمْ لِقَاءَ يَوْمِهِ وَمَأْوَاكُمُ النَّارُ وَمَا لَكُمْ اتخذتم آيات الله هزوا وغرتكم الحياة الدنيا. You were deceived by the life of this world. You were deceived by women, by money, by haram, by this. فاليوم لا يخرج من. No one can take them out of the hellfire. New year means a new hope, a new determination, a new era full of obedience, full sincerity, full of truthfulness with Allah, with the Quran, with the Sunnah of the Prophet, with our family members, with our community, with Muslim, with non-Muslim, with everybody, give the best of what you have. The best of words, the best of attitude, the best of actions. Hoping that Allah will disappear because somebody, Al-Fudayl ibn Iyad, you know Al-Fudayl ibn Iyad was a great school. He met somebody, he said, may I ask you, what's your name, brother? My name is so and so. How old are you, brother? I'm 60. 60? Almost there to reach your destination. He said, well, what do you mean? What do you mean, almost there? He said, the Prophet said, أعمار أمتي ما بين الستين والسبعين the average life term of my life, of my community, between 60 and 70. So you are 60, you are there. The man said, what, what kind of scholar you are? Most of the people hate you know, to tell them about that, right? Inna lillahi wa inna ilayhi rajiun. Al-Fudal said, do you know what that means? Yeah. What, what does it mean? What that means? I know that I am one of Allah's servants and my return shall be before Allah. Correct. Good answer. And he said, my brother, if you know that you are a slave of Allah and your return shall be before Allah, you remember that you will be brought before Allah. عَنِ الْيَمِينِ وَعَنِ الشِّمَالِ قَعِيدٍ وَجَاءَتْ كُلُّ نَفْسٍ مَعْهَا سَائِقٌ وَشَهِيدٌ You know, subhanAllah, you will be brought. One from the right side, left side, brought you before Allah. SubhanAllah. And he said, مَنْ عَلِمَ أَنَّهُ لِلَّهِ عَبْدُ وَأَنَّهُ إِلَيْهِ رَاجِعُ عَلِمَ أَنَّهُ مَوْقُوفٌ وَقِفُوهُمْ إِنَّهُمْ مَسْؤُولُونَ وَمَنْ عَلِمَ أَنَّهُ مَوْقُوفٌ عَلِمَ أَنَّهُ مَسْؤُولٌ وَمَنْ عَلِمَ أَنَّهُ مَسْؤُولٌ عَدَّ السُّؤَالِ جَوَابًا Remember that you will be brought by the angel of Allah before Allah and Allah will question you about all your lifetime, all your family member, all people that you are dealing with. And Allah will question you about it. He said, true, have you prepared the answer?
أعيش وأين أجد؟ He said, always put yourself in the scale of these two verses. This is the scale, brother. Uh -huh. Every week, every day, every year, put yourself in the scale of Quran, in these two verses. Regarding the righteous people will be in rejoice. We ask Allah to be among them. But for the corrupt, for the criminals, for the miser, will be in health. The man said, can you give me an easy way to fix what I have done in the past? He said, أَن تَتَّقِي اللَّهَ فِي مَا بَقِي يَغْفِرْ لَكَ مَا قَدْ مَضَى وَمَا قَدْ بَقِي Fear Allah in the rest of your life. Fear Allah in the rest of your life. This is my message to my soul, brother, and to you. Fear Allah in the remaining part of your life. If you're dead, Allah will participate all what you did in the past and even the faults that you may commit in your coming time. اللهم اهدنا وادبنا وجعلنا سببا لما اهتدى. نجنا ونج بنا وجعلنا سببا لما نجا. جسر امورنا، فرج قلوبنا، واشف مرضانا، وارحم موتانا. واستجب دعاءنا واختم بالباقيات الصالحات اعمالنا توفنا وانت راض عنا اجعل عام خير وبركه وهدى ورحمه على الاسلام والمسلمين يا رب العالمين اعنا فيه على طاعتك وذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اعنا فيه على ذكرك وشكرك وحسن عبادتك اجعلنا فيه من عبادك المتقين اجعلنا فيه من عبادك المخلصين اجعلنا فيه من عبادك المرحومين اللهم يا ذا الجلال والاكرام اصلح لنا ديننا الذي هو عصمة امرنا واصلح لنا دنيانا التي فيها معاشنا واصلح لنا اخرتنا التي اليها معادنا واجعل الحياه زياده لنا في كل خير واجعل الموت راحه لنا من كل شر صلى الله عليه وسلم وبارك على سيدنا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه وسلم جزاكم الله خيرا والسلام عليكم ورحمه الله جزاك الله خير يا